Well, the family of a Sonoma County teenager shot to death by a sheriff's deputy has decided to withdraw their lawsuit and settle the case out of court. Night Beach Joe Vasquez is live in Santa Rosa. Joe, this has been a very tough case for the entire community, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been very emotional, Ken. A child shot down by law enforcement. But it has also highlighted some of the tensions between the sheriff's department and this working class Latino community. It's been five years of community outrage. He was shot because he was a kid carrying a toy gun. Five years since 13 year old Andy Lopez was shot to death by a sheriff deputy while walking near his home Andy! with a toy rifle that looked like an AK 47. Thank you. Five years of pain for Andy's parents who sued Sonoma County. But that battle is now over. Today, the county and Andy Lopez's parents announced they have agreed to settle the case for $3 million. I don't think any amount of money can replace a 13 year old. And it is a number that the family and the Board of Supervisors and the Sheriff's Office agreed on. It's a step to help people move forward and I hope it's a beginning for the family to move forward. I believe the settlement is just and that uh, there is hope for this neighborhood. Andy's brought hope to the neighborhood. This park has made a complete difference. Andy Lopez Unity Park now marks the spot where the young man died. Some here believe it's helping the community heal. I'm just glad that the family might have some closure. Is three million enough? No. Frank Seiss with the Justice Coalition for Andy Lopez says not everyone is thrilled by the settlement. His group of activists has tried but failed for the last five years to punish the sheriff's department. Today's settlement will make sure nobody gets blamed for Andy's death. People have to be held responsible. There's no accountability here with this settlement. I also spoke with some coalition members who told me they do believe they've made some progress in uh, repairing the rift between the community and law enforcement. And in fact, the sheriff today said that not only are they talking more with this community, but he went out of his way to say they are also listening more. Reporting live on the Night Beat, I'm Joe Vasquez.